Hey guys, what's up? My name is Boston. I'm a concert photographer based in Los Angeles, California. And today's video, we're gonna just jump right into it because I am so excited. This is on a lens that I got on Craigslist for $20. And it's supposed to be Nikon's worst lens, according to some online stuff. And I am so excited to test it. And I already know that I have a ton that I wanna say on it. So we're just gonna jump right into this video. Okay, so first things first is I was going through Craigslist scrolling to try and find the cheapest lens that I could find because I thought that would be a cool video, like doing a whole concert or a whole portrait shoot with one lens that's like the cheapest thing that I could find. And I kept coming across this like 35 to 70 or whatever it was lens and it was like everyone was selling them. No matter like what city I was in, there were at least three online for sale all the time. So I wanted to buy it. And then I started looking it up. And as I was looking it up, I was scrolling through all of this stuff online and kept finding that it's called like Nikon's worst lens. And I'm not sure how it got this designation, but it kept coming up as the worst lens, you should never use it, the autofocus is bad, and I was intrigued, so I bought it. <laughs> I'm going to put in a quick video about what happened when I bought it and how I bought it. Hello, it is voiceover me. So I was searching on Craigslist for lenses that were cheap and I came across this one. Now I found quite a few versions of this lens. But this was the cheapest one that I found and it was $30 and I messaged them saying, hey, can I actually pay you $20? And they agreed. So I figured that was a steal for a Nikon lens and it didn't look like there was any damage. All of the actual mounts and the, the glass itself looked fine. So I went and bought it. This is what it looked like on my camera. It was really small. Um... Everything actually seemed fine. It auto-focused, so I was super happy. So that transaction took all of like 15 seconds. I was in, put it on my camera, shot one picture, realized that it auto-focused, and gave them the money. So I'm going to take it home, clean it up, and see what this thing can do. So this is it. This is Nikon's 35 to 70. It's a f3.3 to 3.5, depending on where your uh, zoom is. Okay, so that brings us to today. And what we're gonna do today is meet up with a friend of mine and we're gonna take some portrait. So I'm gonna go pick her up and we're gonna head down to Melrose um, in Hollywood and take some awesome portraits and see how this baby shoots in a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny Los Angeles day. So I will see you guys in a little bit. We have three photo shoots going on right now. One over there. Ours. <laughs> and then there's another one over there.
Alejandra, I'm so excited because I finally got to meet you today. Mm -hmm. So I have been in a Facebook group with you for a long time yeah. and just like seeing your name pop up and we finally got to meet. So yeah, I was, was very so fun. excited. I loved it. So uh, I brought you here with me and we just kind of hung around in Hollywood today and we did a quick little photo shoot. And how did you think about it? I loved it. I've never modeled before. So I was, I was a little nervous, but it was great. It was yeah. so much fun. Cool. And yeah, I nice. think you did an amazing job. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then the lens that we actually used today for the whole shoot is what I still have on. And this is that 35 to 70 that I got on Craigslist. So I brought it up to you that like, mm -hmm. I only spent $20 on this lens. Now, I haven't edited any of the images yet at all, but you've seen some of them on the back of the camera. Mm -hmm. So would you ever imagine that this came, like these images came from a $20 lens? No, no, not at all. <laughs> like it looks just as good as uh, photos that I've seen taken with, I don't know, probably a $1,500 lens. <laughs> Um, How funny. It looked amazing. Yay! Yeah. I'm so glad. It's just so funny. There's like people just driving around right next to us like, oops. Sorry guys, we're in your way. <laughs> um, but so many people spend so much money on camera gear and lenses. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the thing that I wanted to do for this video is to show like we could get amazing portraits. Um, for a lens that's only like 20 bucks. So yeah. I'm so happy that you got to model for me today and then we finally got to meet. Yeah, so thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And um, I am going to head home and edit some of these photos and I will see you guys after I'm done editing. So bye. Okay, so it is now the next day and I am in my backyard. So excuse any noise going on, but I wanted to give a recap of what uh, this lens did and how I liked it. So I already edited all of the images from yesterday's shoot and I will insert them here. All of the images, I was actually really, really impressed. Now, there was one thing that I noticed that I had an issue with that a lot of the images that looked like they were sharp on the camera were actually just a little, little bit soft. Now, the other thing that I wanted to bring up is that I took this lens with me for a concert shoot where I was photographing a band that I normally photograph a lot. Um, so I knew that I was going to get some good shots of them anyway and tested it out. And I was actually pretty impressed when I went back and saw the images that I captured with this lens. I will put those in here. Now, most of the images that I captured at this concert with this lens were a lot softer. So there were like three or four in this group that I really liked, but they are soft. So that being said, I'm not overly happy with how the autofocus performed at the concert in the low light settings, but I'm also not surprised because a lot of my zoom lenses seem to have a little bit of issues when it comes to focusing in low light settings. If the light is really, really bad, I will often go to my primes because I find them to be more reliable in really dark low light settings. So I understand that I was shooting in uh, pretty harsh conditions, but this lens still performed and still got me some great shots. And I showed it to the lead singer of the band. I was like, I caught these photos on a $20 lens. Could you like tell at all? And he was really impressed that he couldn't tell the difference. And I've been working with him for years and he was just really, really impressed by him. So that kind of echoes what Cassandra was saying yesterday at the shoot that these images do not look like they were taken with a $20 lens. So to wrap this all up, I am majorly impressed. I am kind of shocked. Um, I didn't think that a $20 Craigslist lens was going to perform this well, especially one that is known as like Nikon's worst lens. So overall, I am super happy with this lens. I am impressed. I am so glad that I picked it up for $20. Um, it will probably stay in my camera bag because honestly, I kind of love it now. Um, I love shooting it almost as like a 35 prime. I almost always kept it on 35. Um, so 
it's gonna stay in my bag for now because it's super small and I can kind of take it around anywhere and it's just a good little kit. The only thing that's annoying is I wouldn't necessarily bring this to a wedding or like a quiet ceremony because when you focus, it is loud. The autofocus is a little loud. The lens is a little clunky. So if I was at like a wedding ceremony or somewhere where I was really trying hard to be quiet, I don't know if I would want that going off um, while I'm photographing. So that was the only like big downside that I had with it. Um, but otherwise, yes, I love that it's lightweight. It's so small. This I can take out with me and just throw this in a purse and I'm not too worried about it. Also, since it's so cheap, I'm fine with like kind of tossing it in my bag that it, if it gets bumped around, I'm not too concerned. Um, so this might be something that when I'm just like kind of going and exploring or going hiking, this might be a lens that I just put on and leave on um, because I like the 35 to 70 focal length. Um, and it works, it does its job. So, uh, yeah, I've probably said this like 10 times so far, but I am so impressed with this lens, how it performed. I am so happy with the portraits that we captured yesterday. I'm super happy with the concert images that I captured the other day with it. And I'm just overall impressed and it's now gonna stay part of my bag. Okay, so I am going to wrap up this video, but if you guys have any specific questions about this lens, I'm more than happy to answer them in the questions, so feel free to send those to me. And uh, I can do a follow-up video if you want me to show you what it was like shooting this um, at a concert setting and do a little bit more behind the scenes of this in a low light setting. So we can definitely do that. Just let me know if that's something that you guys wanna see. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.